Hey guys, Ginger Brummy here, and I finally unlocked all the new level 10 variants. Now, I've never used them before, up until now, and I gave each gun one game in Team Deathmatch, just to, just for me to understand the workings of them, and if I like them or not. I've not watched any other videos on YouTube or nothing, so I have no idea what these guns are all about. I just hope that some of them are good. Now what I'm going to do when reviewing these guns guys, I'm just going to rate them out of 5. So if a gun's shit, it's going to get a 1. If it's great, it's getting a 5. So without further ado, let's get into the video guys. Okay guys, so here we are now using a level 10 variant of the Harajuku Defensive. Now this gun's a funny one because it may have a huge 120 round magazine. But that doesn't mean you can get every single shot on target, especially with the sights. Let me just look when I'm shooting now. Without using the bipod, the gun does bounce everywhere. Obviously, I'm not going to go into much detail because I'm not really that type of person that will go into detail about the guns. But I do think that if you're not standing still, the gun does bounce about a lot more, guys. Even, even when you hit fire, you can just see it bouncing about. But if you look at that, the 120 round magazine really does help. Just watch me take out this guy. I know there's gas around me. It really does help. Even though you will lost a, even though you will waste a lot of ammo, guys. But yeah, this is a very capable gun. But there's something that I just don't like about it. It's just knowing that the original How Hydra was overused to how. But now, could you imagine which everybody's got their hands on this? Do you know what I mean? It's going to be the only gun you will see in the game. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but you get people in the game, people in the game complaining that there's no variety. And these are the type of people that got 100 service stars with two guns. Do you know what I mean? This gun is just going to be the only gun that people ever use. But look, if I'm, like, if I get my accuracy up, which you guys can't see in the video now, it is a very capable of a gun. Obviously, it's for short range, but with a bipod, you can use it quite effectively at mid-range as well. But anything after mid-range, I would back off and forget about attacking them because this gun really is primarily close to mid-range combat only. See that, what I was saying with the um, bipod? It doesn't bounce around as much, which is expected. Yeah, I see. It's a very capable gun. It's just my accuracy lets it down a bit here. And obviously you don't play team deathmatch that much because it's battlefield. If I want a team deathmatch, I'll play card. So I'm not really used to all the team deathmatch map maps and whatnot. See, I couldn't even climb a hill, so I've got to run around like a bit of a screw up. But yeah, this gun. Once you get the hang of it, guys, will be really, really rewarding. For what the gun is worth, guys, I will give this gun. If used effectively, the 5 out of 5, because this gun really is perfect for this game. I know the developers are all like, we want to recreate a World War 1 atmosphere, but this game really is World War 2 with a World War 1 skin, and I just got the triple there. So that's it guys, the Harajuku 1915, I think that's the name, I can't remember it guys. That is definitely a 5 out of 5 for me. Okay guys, now, here we are with the Salve Slider 19... Is it 1906 or 1912? I can't even remember. The sniper variant, anyway. This gun was so bad for when I used it, I can't even remember the name of it. I mean, yeah. The three shot kill, good. Three shot kill, any range. A two shot kill headshot, any range. But this is one of them guns that really fucks with you because You've only got two shots to play with then. Two extra shots if you miss. And this gun, you cannot fire at its full fire rate, otherwise it bounces everywhere. And that is really what annoys me with the medic rifles. I mean, a lot of the times, if you're caught up in the heat of battle, you, you get your three shots off, you kill an enemy, and a lot of time, you will end up shooting the last two bullets just so you don't get the painfully slow reload. 
Now this gun I found was best to use when standing still, along with most medic rifles. But again, this gun is just not for me. Some of you might like it. If you use the original, you might like this one. And also, I'm not a really big fan of the sniper medic rifles anyway. I never, I haven't been in this game. But really, any gun, such as the Mandra gun, even the other five round burst rifle, the auto loading eight, I think it's called. My name of guns in this game is shocking. The sniper variant, yeah, that maximum variant, that is a much better thing to this. I know there's just something about this gun that feels so underwhelming. That's all I got to say in it. Apart from my own personal experience, it was a two. That's the best. Then again, not even a two. From my own personal experience, I'll give it a one. There's just something so underwhelming about this gun. Apart from the painfully slow reload, you can't use it that much in faster fire rate. The things that are good with it though, is a two shot headshot across the map. And it's three shot kill from all across the map. Obviously the developers might change that due to nurse because I don't think it will last that long. But really this gun, I don't think I've seen much love from the fans. I really don't. Anyway guys, I'm now moving on to the Martini Henry Sniper. Now, I know it's a team deathmatch, but I moved on to Rush. Just because of its sweet spot. Being from like, I, can't, I don't even know the sweet spot. I know it's a big one though. And I thought Rush was better for this kind of range. Again, I don't know what the developers were thinking. Well, I do know what they were thinking. Let's put a sniper scope on the Martini Henry, because people have been asking for a range variant of it. Let's just give him one with the sniper scope. Obviously, obviously for balancing reasons, because this would be a god gun. A god gun if it had the marksman sight on it. I mean, could you imagine it with the marksman sight? Again, this gun's ops offset as well, but the fact that it can only shoot one round at a time. But if you're out of the sweet spot, the thing is a hit marker machine. I will consider carrying a uh, Mars automatic around when you're using this thing. Because even if you get your shot off, do 99 damage, do 70 damage. Something stupid like that. The Martini will always finish your enemy off if you hit them at any range, as long as they've got a first shot off with that. Again, when I was using it, you can get some good headshots off at range. But the, um, what's it called? The muzzle velocity is so slow using this gun at range. There really is no point. I mean, it's, I'm on Rush here using the lowest zoom possibility and I'm still having to aim ahead sometimes. So I mean with the Mars there. But really, at ex like extreme long ranges, pick the Gewehr or the M1903. Do not go for this gun. This is, in my mind, the worst sniper rifle in the game, by far. Apart from the Gewehr M95, because I just don't like that gun. I know a lot of you really do like that gun, but the M95 isn't for me. So I'll just leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay from this. Oh, yeah, I'll give this a two just for the fact that you're never really going to use it for its right purpose which is a close range sniper rifle close medium range rifle so i'll leave you guys with the gameplay of this gun up until the hero automatic Hey guys, we've now moved on to the Hero Optical. Now, this gun I found really, really effective to use. It's my perfect type of gun. It's accurate at mid-range, which is where I like to play personally. I like to be that mid-range, but yet still in the front lines type of player, if that makes any sense to you guys. I mean, just by doing this, this gun you have to burst fire just to keep it accurate. Obviously, if you're prone, you don't have to as much, but I still recommend burst fire unless you are literally hit firing within 10 meters, let's say. Anything, be anything further than that, 
Aim down your sights and burst fire this gun. Because this gun, even though it's accurate, looking down the sights at a higher zoom, it kicks like a mule. Okay, guys. What was that? I don't, I don't know what that was. I forgot to edit that bit out. Um, yeah. Just looking now, it does kick like a mule, especially at longer ranges, where the target's smaller to look at. If you can't get the hang of that kick, try changing the sight of the weapon, because you can change like the dot reticules, but I'll keep it as a dot, because that's the one I see the enemies at mostly, it's the one I prefer. But yeah guys, this is a very good gun, and I would, even, even though, see this is tough because, even though I gave the um, power drill a 5, because it is the one that's most practical in a way. Um, I didn't enjoy that gun as much as I enjoyed this. But just because of the Harrow just practicality over this gun, is why I'm going to give the Harrow this gun a 4. I'm getting names because the gun's confused now if you haven't already noticed. But um, yeah, this gun is getting a 4 because, like I said, it's for that specific type of player that likes to stay mid range and really only plays mid range unless the force to move ahead so yeah guys for that reason this gun is getting a 4 so guys I'm going to leave this video here I know this is a really vague insight into the weapons but I don't really want to go like the in the path the other YouTubers are going that are like giving out stat after stat after stat I think that cramps too much down your throat yes I enjoy those videos but I also like people just to tell me the basics and their own imp impression. So we go in, not expecting much, but at least we know an idea of what the weapon's going to be. So yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm just going to let this gameplay run itself out. I'll leave my overall impressions again in the corner. So please give this video a like. Give us a comment. Tell me if you've used these weapons before. Tell me what you thought of them. Tell me your like thoughts of the guns were different than mine and please if you want to see this channel grow please consider subscribing for more content I know it's not the greatest content in the world but at least it's honest content my honest opinions of the guns so yes guys I'll see you in the next video Ginger Brummy out